What's up guys, C93 here, and today we're gonna to take your webcam to the next level by giving it that blurred background effect. We're gonna do it in under five minutes and take your webcam from looking like this to like this. Here we go. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take a picture in Logitech or whatever capture service you do have for your camera. Take a picture positioned how you would be positioned while you're playing. You want to make sure to not be too close or in a weird position leaning back. Just standard, you know, set your keyboard up, stand just like this, and we'll, we'll, we'll take the picture. Ready? So we're going to go three, two, one. There we go. Beautiful. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to GIMP. I use GIMP. You can use anything. Uh, I think GIMP is just easy. It's free. And uh, I try to do a lot of stuff with my free stuff. It just saves me money in the little directions. Go to Logic Capture, find your picture, which I'm assuming is this one right here. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that beautiful face. All washed out and overexposed. All right. So, the first thing you're going to do is go to Add Alpha Channel. You're going to Add Alpha Channel. You're going to go to the Eraser and get 150, whatever. It doesn't really matter. And all you're going to do is trace yourself Ooh, there we go with the eraser tool look at that face golden golden and it's gone all right now i know that i tend to turn and le look at my other monitor so i'm going to swoop this out just a hair longer and now save you can save it as you know blurred oh, i spelled that wrong blurred background and then Export. I'm gonna do it at the desktop, just easier to find. So when you're all done with GIMP, you want to go back to OBS. Go to your camera, webcam, filters. And what you're gonna do is add a filter. You're gonna to go to blur, blur two, you can name it whatever you'd like. Now these two can stay the way they are, that's fine. You're gonna to go to apply a mask. Then you go to image. Now we're gonna find that image that we had taken out of GIMP. Blurred background. And you can already see it blur. Now, what you the next step is to increase the size a little bit. You don't want to go too much. You go too much, you can see clean cuts on those lines. You can see them right around there. I'm trying to figure it out. There it is. That's those lines. You don't want to see those. I think the sweet spot is around 11 or 12. And if you are, see how I can see on this side, it's blurred a little bit. You can move your camera or you can go and re re-erase that picture to give it a different... Uh, basically like cut line. So it's, you know, if I'm like this and I'm like, oh, okay, my headphones are blurring out right here, go back in the picture and just erase this little sliver, like right around the head. So that's it. You're done. You have your blurred background. Now you can mess around with the settings a little bit and try to perfect it. And again, go into your photo and erase different sections. Uh, my actual one has the microphone also erased so that you can see those colors. It doesn't look blurry. So you can do little tidbits. If you want the background to have something stick out, you can choose to erase that from the picture and then the blur won't affect that. And there you have it. That is the blurred background trick for the C920. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, C93 out.